Hi, West Island. We are here with the Black Watch Military Tattoo. Actually, we're here with five members of the Black Watch Military Tattoo. They will be performing live at the Bell Center next weekend, April 8th at 3 p.m. Tickets are on sale at Eventco and the Bell Center itself, so the Bell Center box office. I am here to talk to these guys who are members of... The How long have you been members? Uh, I've been playing with the band for seven years. Okay, and everybody? Yeah, uh, two years with the band. Uh, three officially. I'd say about ten years. Ten years, ten nice. About ten years as well. Okay, and um, here we are, and you're going to be doing a little show at Fairview. We're at Fairview Center Point Claire today, and they're going to be doing a little show, a taste test for what's going to be happening next weekend. Can you tell me um, how many people will be on stage with you next weekend? Uh, we're expecting about the 120 pipes and drums. And uh, we're going to have a combined brass band as well, which is probably another 60 musicians or something. So, And plus we have island dancers, so lots of people. It's going to be a big show, guys. So I want to I wanna see if I can hear you. Can you, do, can you make that run for me? Sure. <laughs> That's fantastic. I, I know you guys, I can't put you on the spot, but I'm going to take some video of you guys doing your, your thing. What made you fall in love with this instrument? Uh, I actually started in cadets and all my friends were playing bagpipes, so I just decided to do uh, like them and I just um, stick with it. Is it a difficult instrument? Uh, at first, yes, but eventually it becomes like riding a bike, like most instruments, yeah. Okay, and you, yours is different than theirs. Is it or just the color? My instrument? Yeah. Uh, no. More expensive. <laughs> it's more expensive. Th that's just a cover. Oh, that's okay, just a it's cover. just a cover. Okay, yeah. so it's the same instrument. It's exactly the same. D different, different make and model, perhaps, okay. but it's the same basic. The bagpipe is a bag. Greyhound. Oh, Toyota, 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 Honda, Toyota. Okay. Right. But it's still a car. Right. It's still a car. Right. How, um, how did you fall in love with this instrument? Uh, oddly enough, it was the same kind of way that Max had just explained. I, I was also a, a cadet when I was young, and uh, it's an amusing story for me because I have no Scottish roots. I'm of Indian origin, a South Indian, and I heard a pipe band play, and I fell in love with the sound, and I went and approached them, and they taught me how to play, and I've been doing it ever since. Okay, so you were all cadets at one point when you were growing up? I was. You weren't? No? I came up from the rock scene, and okay. I picked up the rudimental drumming uh, about seven years ago, but I've been drumming for 19 years. Okay, wow. So if anybody wants to see these guys and the other hundred some odd people that will be joining them next weekend, it would be a great thing to do next Saturday at 3 o'clock, Bell Center. And Hi, West Island. This is a special visit from Brent Cowan. Cowan from Point Claire, and he is currently part of a great thing that's happening next weekend on Saturday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The Black, Black Watch Military Tattoo. Tattoo. And tattoo means entertainment in the world of military and whatnot. And you're going to explain to me how that is. So, how are you doing today? Good, good, good to see you here. Good, nice to see you too, and I'm glad you took this time out. Um, tell me exactly how did, how did, like you were telling me before, the history of how this started. This is not a one-person band. This is a 600 people involvement this entertainment next weekend. Yep. The, uh, if the whole cast is on stage, will be up to approximately 600 people. That only happens right at the very end. Throughout, there's, there's uh, different uh, groups within that 600 that will be performing. You have military uh, bands, pipes and drums, police bands, firemen will be there. Uh, we have dancers from all the, um, uh, all the, the ethnic uh, Communities, cultural communities that are on the flag of Montreal, there are okay. four. They'll be there. Then we've got a group from uh, Ganawake, Ganasapake, they'll be there representing First Nations. And we have a group uh, from the uh, Montreal Chinese community that's representing everybody else. Okay, that's fun. Tell me, you were telling me an interesting fact about how the tattoo started uh, in the 1800s and what was, how did that work when you, when it was time for the army to go back from the bars and the partying night, I guess they were out, yep. and it was time to come back, the lone drummer would come through the village and that, that indicated get back to camp, so, and then it grew? Yes, well, the, it actually started in around the 17th century in Flanders and uh, the, we had soldiers who'd been camped around a, a town and that uh, when it was time to go back to camp, a drummer would go through the village beating the drum, and that was a signal for the, um, the uh, tavern keepers, the innkeepers, to turn off the, the uh, beer taps, which in, the, uh, in Flemish is go down tap toe. 
And so Tap Toe evolved over time into Tattoo, uh -huh. and the Lone Drummer evolved over time into a big <laughs> military variety show with the whole band and, uh, and other bands, and eventually uh, civilian groups and other people, any, any other kind of entertainment that would look good in a, uh, in a venue such as the Bell Center. Okay, so we're excited to see that. And you're a Point Clare resident. How did you get involved in the first place? Well, I've been involved in the Black Watch. Well, I joined the Black Watch in the uh, early 1980s as an officer there. And uh, once uh, in the Black Watch, you're always in the Black Watch. I've retired now from the military in 25 years, for, for about 25 years, but you're always involved. And I was asked uh, last April if I would uh, help uh, organize, produce a, a tattoo to help celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Battle of the New Ridge and uh, the 150th anniversary of Canada and the uh, 375th anniversary of the City of Montreal. We have a lot going on this year in terms of celebrations. We so do. <laughs> this is going to be a great... So I'd like you guys to get out. What's the ticket price? The uh, cheapest ticket is $38.50 and the most expensive is $99.50. And that's next weekend at 3 o'clock, April 8th? Correct, at the Bell Centre. At the Bell Centre. You can get your tickets at Eventco and at the Bell Centre on box office? Box office, yeah. Eventco.ca online or the Bell Centre box office. And you'll be performing a little bit today, a little bit of a little thing at Fairview this, this morning. Maybe you'll send me over that video, we can attach it to this, this interview. Yes, that's the point. That'd be great. And I'll also be putting up the, um, the website for the Black Watch Military Tattoo. That'd be great. Thank okay, you very much. That'd be great. Thank you. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that's it. Sorry guys, but these guys will be, so we'll see you there. Thank you. There you go.